Nu, ej, Marna, nāks jau rēt? Ej, man. Ej, man, ej, man, ej, man. He likes driving in the car a lot, but <laughs> he don't know yet where we are driving. <laughs> he will not like this place. Aptirša. Ja, labs. Stāvi. Tu labs, puika, jā. Labs. Labs, jā. Nu viss, nu viss, jā, viss, viss, viss. Par kādu zemē, jā? Jā. Nu, redz, nebija tik traki. Nu, malas, labs, puika, jā, labs, jā, labs. So. Next year, <laughs> we save story. Tomorrow we are going for flight, and yeah, I have to do today. Collect packages. I have two packages to collect. I have to go to the bookstore, buy a book. So vaccinate dog, do all the work tasks. So it is kind of crazy, busy day, but luckily, hopefully. Hopefully I will do everything and will survive. And yeah, my two nights, two, two hour night doesn't really help to get around the fall of that. I recorded that video yesterday and posted it today and I'm thinking about creating this video and posting it tomorrow. It thinks like totally dumb idea. Daily vlogging doubt that is for me. It is Oh, too time consuming and all that stuff, but I could, well, I kind of like to get back into the YouTube and vlogging and all that stuff, so we'll see. If you see this video, that happened. Next package, let's go. This, this one package is for me, I know what is inside, but unfortunately I can't show to you <laughs> because uh, it is present to my wife. And just in case she's watching my YouTube videos, I would not like to spoil that. But yeah, you will see that someday later. One, two, three, back to work. Finally. Car is dirty as hell. I would like to clean it, but unfortunately I have zero time for that. I have too much programming work to do. Check at that sun. So shiny. Lovely. It feels like spring, but it's still cold. Plus five degrees. Okay, winter is over. We have to do something with that. <laughs> this could be perfect look, but my wife would kill me. <laughs> Who the hell is this person? I don't know. <laughs> So currently I'm packing my backpack for two walk, two week trip and I think that is kind of chance to talk a little bit about gear that I have with me. Uh, I will start with camera gear, probably that is boring for most of you, but so we can skip it fast. <laughs> so two lenses, one of five, uh, 24 millimeters to 105 millimeters and 50 millimeters 1.8 lenses, basically that is zoom lens. To get closer to something that is kind of portrait lens, walk around lens, lens which works really well in a dark environment. Currently I'm using 15 to 35 millimeters lens and that is mounted on my EOS Air camera. It is not the newest, greatest camera or whatever, but 
it do the job and it is just fine for me and I have rod NTG microphone on it. That's basically it about cameras. I have two more cameras, basically those are two iPhones. One is iPhone 13 Max Pro, another one 11 Max Pro, namings are hard, basically yeah. Two iPhones, just uh, this is kind of backup iPhone, this is my main iPhone and I am using those for testing, development, all that stuff and so on. Chargers and few extra USB-C cables. Two extra batteries for my camera and that also kind of little bit related to filming gear. Of course I'm not bringing big tripod with me but this small tripod with clamp for iPhone and I can mount my big camera on this tripod as well. It works well for trips. Even if you are not using big camera, I highly recommend to have some kind of tripod in your trips when you, if you do any photos or videos with your phone, that make a big difference if you have it. Yeah, sure, I will bring some mask from clothes. Nothing interesting, just few t-shirts uh, and um, underwear, <laughs> one more pair of jeans, that's it. And yeah, I'm optimist I will have my flip-flops with me as well. I'm flying to Portugal. I hope that we will have okay weather and maybe I will have a chance to run around in flip-flops. I have this, I don't know, fancy <laughs> bag. And those looks kind of dumb, but I found those very useful in airports because you can pack inside wallet, documents, all that stuff. And also, if you have so, some power bank, something like that, you can throw it here as well. And that kind of uh, helps to reduce the weight of your backpack. Also, I will have some memory sunglasses for my camera. Basically, that works like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, have, we are flying to Portugal. Hopefully, I will need this. <laughs> I will bring iPad with me for working in Airbnb a secondary display that will help a lot, especially if I will manage to do live streams, then that is almost necessary to have secondary screen. So, and then, <laughs> big question, uh, I have still this <laughs> 13 inch uh, MacBook Air, of course I didn't manage to sell it yet since uh, last video. <laughs> I still have it and I could bring it with me in that trip. And basically that is good enough for programming and if I do not do live streaming so it's perfect machine for traveling. But maybe unpopular opinion, I think that 16 inch MacBook Pro is a much better machine for traveling. So basically uh, what are benefits basically from this smaller machine? It is smaller, right? It is lighter in backpack but if my backpack is uh, light enough to fit um, our flight company limitations, that's good enough. So I'm not walking around on uh, hikes with that uh, laptop in backpack. In theory, with that smaller laptop, I don't need backpack. I can put, basically if I would like to walk around somewhere in the city with this laptop in the this small uh, bag, I can, I can do that. I have place here for camera. Physically, I can fit laptop and my camera and one or even both extra lens here and walk around. But believe me, you don't want to do that. <laughs> my back starts hurt in, I don't know, after a few hours of walking with this bag. So I prefer to use backpack anyways. When I am in my destination in that Airbnb kitchen or whenever, then Working on the 16-inch MacBook Pro is way more comfortable than on this 13-inch MacBook Pro because screen size, of course. Also, battery life is better, right? Uh, also, of course, port situation is much better. I do not need that uh, adapter to read SSD cards. I can read those directly in Mac. Of course, 14-inch will do the same, but yeah, I am comparing with this one because this one actually is portability killer. It is small, it is powerful, and battery life is amazing. Yeah, that's my opinion. We'll see what I will say after two flights tomorrow with this 16-inch uh, MacBook Pro. I will try to use it in plane. We'll see how that will work. 
As backup, I have AirPods for to use for some admin work, and as you may know, you can do some programming on iPad as well with Swift Playgrounds 4. I did video about programming on Swift on, on iPad. If you like to see that, check that out. I will try to record some video footage in airport, in plane and so on. We'll see what I will say after first flight with 16-inch MacBook Pro. Okay, that was it. Uh, thank you for watching. See you. Bye-bye.